My name is Paul Luna, and you're tuned into FMB Lunacy. I am here today with chef restaurateur Pat Pascarella. Chef, talk to us about your restaurant and what is the cuisine you offer? Uh, well, we have two. Uh, the White Bull we had first that opened in uh, 2018, the beginning of it. And um, it was the focus of that was pasta and, uh, you know, explaining to people that uh, milling your own flour is very easy to do. Uh, you know, we bought a small tabletop mill, it was about a thousand dollars, took that and started to mill our own flour, create this really good pasta texture and uh, a flavor from a local grain that we grow here in Georgia and Danielsville. Um, and with that, uh, we wanted to have the food, have the pasta be Italian, but have the restaurant not realistically be Italian. And people would always be like, well, why the hell would you do that? Why would you do that? And I was like, well, you know, if I feel like eating, if I want to put a taco on the menu today, I don't want anybody to make fun of me. Um, so we named it the White Bull because the White Bull is what Hemingway named a blank piece of paper. So to me, the White Bull was a blank piece of paper. So about a year, year and a half ago, I'm sitting in the back of White Bull and making pasta with my cousin. I basically shipped my cousin down from Connecticut after uh, I opened White Bull. And we're sitting back there and make pasta. Some kid called out again, like, like everybody goes through right now. Um, and I'm like, man, I really miss my mother. And he's like, yeah, me too. So we're cousins, our moms are sisters. And I was like, well, why don't we open a restaurant that has to do with our moms? So that's how Grana was born. So Grana is my mom's recipes, my grandmother's recipes. It's, it's, it's a little combination of really old school Neapolitan food, uh, pushing the limits of a little bit with Italian food. And then that Italian American Bronx, you know, New York feel to it where there's a, there may, may be an eggplant Parmesan on the menu. There may not be maybe spaghetti Pomodoro, you know, there's six different types of meatballs on the menu. Uh, but the most important thing to me was I want to make sure that this pizza here is this true and through to real true Napoli Don pizza that you can find. So, I mean, you know, a lot of the, sh a lot of the chefs and uh, pizza makers here in Atlanta, they come and eat the pizza and they're like, this is the closest thing you're going to get to Napoli. I was like, yeah, well, that was the goal, you know? And with that though, it comes a little bit of kickback, right? People here in Atlanta, they're used to the crusty pizza. They're used to, you know, New York style. You throw a true Neapolitan and they got to eat it with a fork and knife and it threw everything in the air and they didn't know what the hell to do. Um, so it took a little while to get people uh, used to the style of pizza we're doing and the style of food because, you know, a lot of these Italian restaurants here, they have spaghetti or fettuccine Alfredo on the menu. And I tell people all the time, the only Alfredo I know is my uncle in Italy. I don't know any other Alfredo. So, uh, so they, you know, people, people weren't too acceptable to that in the beginning. But now I think they're understanding we're trying to be as authentic as possible. And, you know, and the people that want their eggplant Parmesan or chicken Parmesan, stuff like that, they go and they get that elsewhere. But when they come here and they know they're gonna get an authentic Italian meal, it works out, so.